Welcome again to Know Your Bible, where today we're considering, Is Death the End? To most believers in God, whether Christian, Muslim, Jew, Buddhist, etc., if you say no to this question, you are inclined to favour the common belief that man is immortal and exists in death as much as in life. If you say yes, you are supposed to deny all religious beliefs. But there is, to a true Bible believer, another understanding that is somewhere in the middle of these two answers. It is the understanding resulting from the acceptance of the Bible as the only teacher in this case. The believer of the Bible holds that man is mortal and that, in the death state, he has ceased to exist for the time being, but that a future life will be brought about by the resurrection of those who are rendered responsible by the knowledge of the gospel at the return of the Lord Jesus Christ to the earth. Consequently, these believers could only answer the question by saying, in some cases, death ends all, and in some it does not. But in all cases, death is death while it lasts. So let's look at what the Bible says, and it does say that death ends all in some cases. In the Psalms it says, I am like a man who has no strength, adrift among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more. Again in Isaiah, the army and the power, they shall lie down together, they shall not rise, they are extinguished, they are quenched like a wick. Obadiah says, and they shall be as though they had never been. And Psalm again says, like sheep, they are laid in the grave, death shall feed on them. The Bible says that death doesn't end in all other cases. Consider the words of the psalmist. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. And again in Job, And after my skin is destroyed, this I know, that in my flesh I shall see God. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Again Isaiah says, he will swallow up death forever. And in Proverbs, the righteous has a refuge in his death. But death is death in all cases while it lasts, because man is a creature of the dust and not an immaterial entity dwelling in a body. The scripture says, the first man was of the earth made of dust. And again, the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. The psalmist says, For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. And again it was Abraham who approached the Lord, and he said, Indeed now, I who am but dust and ashes have taken it upon myself to speak to the Lord. The Bible also says that death comes to all men because of sin. Consider this. Just as through one man sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men. Again, the wages of sin is death. By man came death. In Adam all die. The sentence of death in ourselves. This corruptible, this mortal. And in the Bible it is very clear that in death there is a suspension of all consciousness and of existence itself. Look, for in death there is no remembrance of you. In the grave, who will give you thanks? Again, the grave cannot thank you. Death cannot praise you. Those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your truth, says Isaiah. Again, the psalmist says, His breath departs, he returns to his earth. And in that very day, his plans perish. The dead know nothing, and they have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. For there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. You see, my friends, the Bible tells us that those righteous who believed in the resurrection of the dead have not yet entered their reward. And if there is no resurrection of the dead, they are perished forever. But look at what Scripture says. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off. God gave Abraham no inheritance in it, not even enough to set his foot on. But even when Abraham had no child, 
he promised to give it to him for a possession. And all these, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not receive the promise, God having provided something better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. Glorified together, says Romans. And at the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that you should reward your servants, the prophets and the saints, and those who fear your name, small and great, says the Apocalypse. And if Christ is not risen, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. What advantage is it to me if the dead do not rise, said the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. So my friends, the atheist who says there is no God, that we live, that we die and that's it, well, he's right for him. And to those who believe that we have a reward in heaven or hell, well, there is a reward, but according to the Bible, it is on earth and it is given to the faithful at their resurrection. But you may ask, what of an immortal soul? Well, that, my friends, we will discuss in our next episode of Know Your Bible.